Welcome back to the Transform Your Mind to Transform Your Life, the podcast. You're listening to 5-Minute Fridays with Coach Myrna. Today, I want to talk on the topic, are you looking at life through a cloudy mirror? And I want to share with you how you can see clearly. Now, this episode was born because I recently came across this scripture in the Bible and had to share the important life lesson with you all. The scripture is found in 1 Corinthians 13, 12. And it says, we see things imperfectly in a cloudy mirror. Wipe the mirror and we will see things with perfect clarity. So I thought to myself, it is so true. Um, One of my favorite songs is, I can see clearly now the rain is gone by Johnny Nash. And the song goes like this. I can see clearly Now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. Gone are the dark clouds that had me blind. (laughs) And I can go on and on. But those are the words that I want to, you know, share with you. So life is a journey filled with moments of clarity and confusion, peaks of happiness with valleys of doubt. Often we find ourselves viewing life through a cloudy mirror where our perceptions are distorted by fears, misconceptions, and limiting beliefs. The haze can obscure our vision, making it difficult to see our true selves and opportunities before us. So how can we clear the fog and see life as it truly is? So here are some strategies. The first one is to identify the cloudiness. The first step in clearing the mirror is to recognize what is causing the distortion. Reflect on your thoughts and feelings. Are they influenced by past experiences, suicidal expectations, or internal fears? Journaling can be helpful, can be a helpful tool in this process, allowing you to pinpoint the sources of your cloudy vision. So Once you identify and clarify, now it is time for you to do something about it. You have to challenge your beliefs, right? Challenge them. Ask yourself whether these beliefs are rooted in reality or are they simply perceptions that you carried with you? For example, if you believe that you're not good enough to pursue a certain career, Examine the evidence. Are there successes or skills that you have overlooked? By questioning your assumptions, you begin to dismantle the cloudiness. And I will tell you, a lot of times people put the cloudy mirror because they tell you something. You could have been seen clearly. You could have sunshine and somebody comes with rain. And what's their rain? They tell you that you're not good enough, that you can't do something sticks on your mirror. So now you can't see clearly because that little speck is on your mirror. That little doubt turns into a whole big haze. So you challenge your beliefs. Is it true? And I can guarantee you that it's not true because we can do anything that we set our heart to do. Practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is a powerful practice that can help you see clearly. By staying present and focused on the current moment, you can reduce the impact of past regrets and future anxiety. Meditation with deep breathing exercises and mindful walking are all practices that can help you develop a clearer and more focused mind. Number four is to seek external perspectives. Sometimes our internal mirror is too cloudy to clear on our own. Seeking the perspective of trusted friends, mentors, or therapists can provide valuable insights. They can offer objective viewpoints to help you see the aspects of your life and self that you might have missed or understood. One of the fundamental things that people come in to coaching for is to identify their blind spots because you can't see it. And Les Brown 
made it very, he has a, a quote that it makes it clear is that if you are the frame, if you're the picture in the frame, you can't see the frame, <laughs> right? So yeah, I mean, you can't see clearly unless someone is helping you to see it. Number five is embrace change and growth. A cloudy mirror often stems from resistance to change and growth. Embrace the idea that life is fluid, it's flowing and ever changing. Allow yourself to evolve and be open to new experiences and perspectives. The flexibility will help you navigate life with a clear vision. Number six, set clear goals and intentions. Setting clear achievable goals can give you a sense of direction and purpose. When your goals are aligned with your true values and desires, they act as a guide in life, helping you cut through the fog and move forward with clarity. You know, what does the scripture say? Be a lamp onto my feet, right? <laughs> yes, if you've got a lamp on your feet, then you can walk with purpose. You can see beyond the clouds. Number seven, cultivate self-compassion. Be kind to yourself during this process. Clearing the cloudy mirror in your life is not an overnight task. You can't just rub it away and it's going to go away. <laughs> it requires patience, persistence, and self-compassion. Celebrate small victories and forgive yourself when you encounter setbacks. So in conclusion, I want to leave you with looking at life through a cloudy mirror can be frustrating and disorienting, but it's not a permanent state. By identifying the sources of distortion, challenging your beliefs, practicing mindfulness, seeking external perspectives, embracing change, setting clear goals, cultivating self-compassion, you can clear the fog and see more clearly. Remember, clarity comes not only from having all the answers, but from being open to seeing things as they truly are. Yes, clear mirror, no fog. Even if there's fog, you have vision, which means that you can see what's not in front of you. You can see into the spiritual realm, into the quantum realm. You know, the Bible says people without a vision perish. It's not what you see. It's not what's looking at you in the mirror, but vision goes beyond that. All right. So thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Five Minute Fridays with Coach Myrna. I hope that I gave you some strategies that if you have, you're not seeing clearly, you, you know, foggy mirror is just basically an analogy, but there's some times when you can't see ahead of you. You don't know what's going on. You have no clarity. You have no vision, right? So these are some strategies to allow you to cut through the fog. <laughs> All right. Thanks again. Until next time. Namaste.